What's up, Simonix? Welcome to a new vlog episode and welcome to a new question. The question of the day is, should I purchase Ionic templates? I got this question several times and I wanted to give you my opinion and my answer to this question in this video. We will take a look at a few options that you got for purchasing Ionic templates or themes or elements around this. And in the end, I will share my opinion about this whole topic. And of course, I would love your opinion and your experience with templates as well. You can leave a comment below if you previously purchased a template and what's your experience with that. So let's dive into a few templates. First of all, quick information for a few of the templates that we see, I actually got uh, special deals inside the Ionic Academy. So for Ionic Academy members, uh, I ask a few creators of these templates, for example, for the inept store 20% discount, uh, for a sketch Figma template and for other templates, there are discounts in the Ionic Academy. If you're a member or if you're not yet, check it out, ionicacademy.com. The first place I actually thought to uh, get templates is the Ionic Market, but I feel like this project is kind of abandoned. When I look for the newest starter templates in here, for example, I find this one, um, I can't really see when it was uploaded. Okay, it was released three hours ago, so it's still kind of live. Um, but version 4 seems to be the latest version available here. And we are, of course, at version 5. There's a lot for Ionic 3. So I'm not completely sure about the plans from the Ionic team for this marketplace. It's actually a pity, but perhaps they want to just uh, let the community do their own marketplaces. Maybe that's a new idea for a project. Hmm, once again. So uh, be careful with the Ionic marketplace. Then something that's not 100% a template, but something that got a lot of great feedback in the Ionic universe is the Ionic sketch template. And it's also available for Figma if you're using uh, that instead. It's not really a template um, itself, so you can't really just use it. It's more for designing, but I think it's still an awesome uh, project with a lot of Ionic elements, once again, both for Sketch and also for Figma available. I haven't used this tool, but it kind of looks the same for Windows perhaps. Um, so these two are also great uh, elements to design your application if you have a bigger team and can afford this. So it's a one-time purchase and then you can design your apps. Then one of the most known stores, I think, is the Inept Store. I had contact with the creator. Um, he's also a legit guy. Um, so they offer a lot of different templates, as you can see. Also Ionic 4, they also got React Native. And as far as I know, uh, I can't remember the name, but they want to uh, offer templates for all of these different elements. So Inept is definitely a store you could check out. Um, perhaps I can find his name here. I really forgot it. I'm sorry if you're watching. Yeah, and my connection is very fast today. So uh, really very concrete examples like a taxi driver app, taxi booking, um, grocery shopping, really very specific starters that can help you a lot if you plan to build an application. Like actually they got an advertisement for me, huh? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Perhaps that was our deal. Anyway, uh, Product Hunt isn't loading. Uh, it is. So yeah, Abhijit, I think he made this one. Then also, Ionic Themes is a very popular place because um, as far as I know, they have a lot of great tutorials created by Diana as well. Um, she's also a very well-known member in the Ionic community and her tutorials here are really awesome. And on top of that, the Ionic themes has a lot of, um, well, starter templates. I think they're not just themes, but really complete applications showing you a lot of different uh, functionalities, different screens. And if the numbers are right, they really made a lot of sales. And if you can reuse this template, it could really be something great. So Ionic themes, definitely also a legit source. Then something I had in the past, but I'm not sure how far it's updated because well, it looks like Ionic 5 is included. It's called Epseed.io. Um, they also get different bundles. They got very specific applications for food orders, uh, essential apps, a toolkit, a hotel booking app. Um, so also they look very polished. Um, I think they are really good templates as well. And I also got a deal for this 
um, in the academy and some of them even come with a kind of integration of a backend uh, with Firebase. Of course, you just need a Firebase project, but if it's already set up for use with a backend, they also got demos, which is pretty cool, uh, I think. So let's just enter the application. Yeah, and you get a nice preview. This, of course, doesn't really come with a big styling, but with a lot of functionalities like the site menu, a map, and if you need stuff like this, you already get it out of the box. Then other places I also saw or found on Google are this one, my theme box. I saw this on Reddit, also very specific applications, which actually also look pretty good um, from the outside. So I really like the UI in here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of different screens. And if you plan very specific applications, these themes from my theme box might help as well. Then there are other places like the Code Canyon uh, Market or uh, Code Star, something I found. I'm really not sure about these templates. Um, some of the other pages, I think, also host their uh, themes or starters in here. So sometimes you can find them. But about all the other templates, uh, without any rating, I'm really not sure. I'm sorry if you're one of them, but it just doesn't feel or look too legit if there's like a template here without any reviews, perhaps even no sales. These look a lot better if you see a lot of sales and good ratings, of course, um, then they might good, be good. Um, but um, I really like the other projects we've seen before, which are focused completely on Ionic, but I can also understand that you host your templates here um, because this is just a huge market and you can reach a lot of people. So if 2K, uh, people buy this template you actually make good money from this perhaps also making a template as an idea so many ideas today well um, These are your options either the bigger marketplaces or the specific pages like ionic themes AppSeed, or inept and finally, I just want to plug in a quick ad for my own project, which is like build your own template <laughs> So that was basically also my idea with uh, kickoff ionic if you haven't seen it um, you can create database entities, define different pages, uh, select from snippets, and all of this will be bundled into an application that you can then download and export. So as I said, it creates all the boilerplate, uh, the connection with Firebase currently, I'm working on new connections uh, with like um, a legacy API or perhaps WordPress in the future. So if you are looking for a more unique approach and something where you can really um, define stuff upfront and then generate your boilerplate code or your template, then check out kickoffionic.com as well. All right, so what's my opinion about this topic? First of all, I never really purchased any of these templates. I tested a few of them because um, I offered them as a special deal inside the academy, so I had to know what I'm offering, of course. But for most of my pro uh, projects, I didn't really consider using one of these templates. But I might be a special case, um, but also I had very unique projects, so I never really felt like that would save a lot of time. As a general evaluation, I would say on the good side of a template is, first of all, it can offer a lot of functionality out of the box. Of course, that's why you purchase a template. But um, if you see there are a lot of plugins already included and some functionality that you otherwise have to code uh, Which might include some kind of boilerplate code that you always need then it's a good idea as well These templates might come with a nice theme or you might purchase just a theme Which of course can save you a lot of time if you're not really a designer or don't know a lot about colors So that can really spice up your application also if you think that you're going to reuse the template you purchase once in the future again of course uh, you save even more because uh, you not only save the time once but you will also save it in the future so you have to calculate that into the equation as well and also if you can find a template that's basically pretty close to what you want to do so if you want to build a WordPress powered kind of ionic application for a local store or for a taxi whatever ride um, and you find a template mostly or exactly for that purpose, then it could be a really great idea to save a lot of time because those templates might cover a lot of the pages, login pages, inside areas, 
um, that you anyway need in your application and of course then you can save a lot of time. On the other hand, um, the reasons why I also usually don't purchase templates is uh, once you get it, you have to set it up and you need to get into the code. Some of these templates are pretty powerful. They're uh, really huge projects, so you need to understand what's going on in that project. And of course, that also takes time. If you feel like you can get quickly into a template that you purchase, um, then of course it's once again a good idea, but you need to think about how long it's going to take until you get into it. It's like uh, starting a project from your fellow developer and you just need to understand what's going on in the project. Also, that's uh, another reason uh, for not buying a template. I really want to know all the places in my application. Uh, I want to know what's going on in every single page or service. And if you just purchase this and think it's going to work, well, then you never really know what's going on in your code. And you, this is something I really don't want to have as a feeling. Also, something to think about is um, the version. Some of these might be old templates. Um, you might not see it up front. You really need to check for the Ionic version used, the Angular version used. And if it's like Ionic 3, well, we're at Ionic 5 right now, so I wouldn't recommend to purchase something that old. Also, uh, you need to check if it's using Cordova or Capacitor, because I usually recommend Capacitor for all new projects, and therefore you should look for templates that also support Capacitor if you plan to use it. Otherwise, you would start by migrating a template you purchased from Cordova to Capacitor, which wouldn't really save you any time. And finally, it's also important that you have a good feeling about the creator. Uh, we've seen different creators, we've seen different marketplaces, and I would usually purchase from someone who looks like he or she has an idea about Ionic and is also giving support. Uh, you can see it in the sometimes questions answered below uh, the templates, you can see it in the reviews, or uh, maybe they also offer some kind of support policy. So really look out for this because you might run into trouble with a, uh, with a template, you don't understand it, and you might need support. And if there's no support for the template, well, then you really lost a lot of time. My final recommendation is purchase a template if you feel uh, good about the template in general and purchasing it, if the template covers a lot of the functionalities that your app needs, if you can see it and it kind of matches uh, what you want to do, um, perhaps also from the UI perspective, and if it is an updated version or the current version of Ionic. I wouldn't recommend to purchase the template if your app is very unique. If you already know that it's not really any of these mainstream apps like a little shop or a newsreader app or anything like this, but really a very special thing, then I would just start with one of the Ionic templates and build your application from there. Because the time to remove all the code that your application doesn't need will take more time than actually just setting up the few things that your app needs. Or simply put it like this, calculate the time that you will save from the template, um, then check your hourly rate, and if you save time and money with the template, you can get it. Also calculate in the perhaps future use of the template, but really just make the simple equation um, and check if there's like positive value in purchasing the template. Now that's only my opinion, but I would also like to get your opinion on this topic because, well, it's just my limited opinion and you might have a different perspective on this. Perhaps you purchased something of these templates in the past and really enjoyed it, or you can recommend other templates, leave a comment below. I would love to know what's a great template that you perhaps purchased or why or why not you purchased a template in the past. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It gave you some uh, brain food to process and I hope this will make your decision to buy or not buy a template in the future a bit easier. If you get any other questions, as always, leave them below. Um, the vlog currently is more focused on Ionic, as you can see. Uh, we will have the app reviews, questions like these, and the Ionic newsflash in the future, so I'm always happy about questions around the Ionic universe. Have a great week, buy or buy not a template, and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon.